The return to campus is right around the corner for many college students, and with it comes some interest in self-defense education. Staying safe may be on the minds of even more Mainers this year after assaults in the West and East Ends in Portland earlier this summer. News Center Maine's Chloe Tebow joins us live this morning from the Western Prom with an expert to share some tips for us. Good morning, Chloe. Hey, good morning. Yeah, I'm here with Clara Porter. She's the director of Prevention Action Change, which is a self-defense group based in Portland. And Clara, like we were talking about, self-defense really comes from both physical and verbal techniques. Absolutely. So we talk about the five fingers of safety. Think, yell, run, fight, and tell. And so how do I use my mind to increase my awareness and stay safe? How do I use my voice to set boundaries early and often and express what I want, need, and feel? How do I use my body and my mind to avoid situations? And then body, if I need to fight, what are the tools that I need to do that? And finally tell, which is all about self-care and resources if something does happen. So with the verbal piece, we really want to think about how am I using my face, voice, and body to send a consistent message. So we're going to practice stance first, and we're standing parallel right now. So I'm going to suggest we took, put one foot back, so we're standing a little bit like this and our hands will come up. So this is a universal gesture of stop. If someone sees me in this position, they'll know that I'm more defensive. I'm not in an offensive position. And I can use this to set boundaries. So lower level, I might say things like, I'm not interested, or no thanks, or that doesn't work for me. And then if that is not respected, we'll take it up a notch. So let's practice three together. Let's start with no thanks. So. No thanks. And then again, if they don't respect that, let's say together, no. No. And then if they really don't respect that, we raise it up even higher with the I said no. And let's do that together. I, I said, said no. no. Yeah, so there's three levels of setting a boundary. And then quickly, uh, some of the physical things, yeah. if it does get to that level, tell me about the hard part of your palm. Yeah, so we talk about the hard parts of our body against the soft parts of another person's body add power. So we're gonna use our palm heel against the nose. And so using our hips to generate power, we'll have our hands up and really get that palm heel out to the nose of someone in front of us. So let's practice that with a yes, I can. And we'll do it twice, all right, and go. Yes, yes, I can. can. And again, yes, yes I, I can. can. Nice. And shake that out. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you being here early this Super. morning. Hope that helps some of you at home. Live in Portland, Chloe Tebow, New Center, Maine.